folks, this is Johnny. <laughs> I'm pretty sick today, but I needed to get one video out today. All right, so uh, this actually came as a question from the HSD MIDI group on exploding the drums and, uh, you know, where to go from there to actually be able to mix them like real drums. So this is going to be a real quick video because I know that many of you are already familiar with this. I just wanted to get this out there and get it in the new uh, group of videos. So let's go to the classroom and you can see here I have a drum beat. Really simple. All right, so now if you want to mix this like a real drum set, you can, if you wish, you can do all of the mixing inside of Impact. As you click on the individual pads, this entire section here becomes the editing tools for those pads. If you want to edit multiple pads at once, you select the last one, hold shift and select the first one. You can see they all light up and then any adjustment that you make here will affect all of the pads. All right, but a lot of people don't like to work that way. They like to work with the tracks as if they had put mics around them. Now, while it is a little bit different, uh, this is the best way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close impact. I'm literally going to just right click on the drum pattern and choose explode pitches to tracks now if you don't have it under your recent items right here you will actually have to go down to the instrument parts and find it down here there it is just like that all right so let's give this a try explode the pitches to tracks boom really really simple now since all of the pads in impact are labeled you can see that the labels followed the uh, track bounces or the separations, I should say, you haven't bounced yet. All right. All right, so no, now that we have all of our names, you can go ahead and all through them and just re replay, uh, erase the impact part so you just have the drum names. But let's say you want audio tracks. Let's close the editor window and let's go ahead and we can do this a couple of ways. We can use the transform option or we can just do a very simple bounce right click and say bounce selection okay you can also use the keyboard shortcut control p see right there or uh, command b on a mac and there it goes now what it's doing is it's converting all of the midi to audio tracks all right so it always leaves a MIDI track up there. I don't know why, but there you go. You can see now that all of the MIDI is muted automatically. So we're going to click on this, hold shift, click on this, and we're gonna right click and we're gonna say hide. There we go. Now we have our audio tracks. And yeah, you can see that they're not very loud. I didn't have the volume very loud on the imp on the export, or I'm sorry, on, uh, on impact when I did the recording. So we can actually turn up the data view here a little bit and everything should sound the way it's supposed to. Nice. All right, so now let's say I want to actually bring this crash up a little further. Watch this. This is really simple too. We got it on snap. So I'm gonna bring this here. I'm going to put this like right here and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to bring this here. There we go. So now I don't have that gap between the downbeat and the crash. Yeah, very good. All right. So we're going to make this a little longer because it tails really long in volume. There we go. Beautiful. So you can see to a certain extent, you can still edit the audio files like you do regular drums. So now that you have this, you can go ahead and you can open up your mixer. And we can experiment with all of the with all of the sounds that we have and bringing in certain. Let me see what I got here. There we go. We can bring in certain effects. Let's go to the effects. So let's see. So the one that I really like from Personas is the Room Reverb. 
There it is. Room reverb. Bring that in and we'll put that there. And let's see what else. I think I'm just going to go with the room reverb for now. So now, so let's say, let's find the snare. There's the snare right there. Let's actually open this up a little bit. There we go. Get the kick on the snare. So now on the snare, I can bring this up and I can go with the room reverb and... <laughs> Talk about an 80s snare for the ballads. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to go with this. And I'm just going to take, let's see, where is the decay? Oh, the size. We'll use the size. There we go. So you can recreate a um, a room ambience kind of a thing using the room reverb. You can also use the mix verb or any third-party reverb plugin that you have. So there you go. That's a little bit on using uh, MIDI tracks, MIDI drum tracks, exploding them into pitches and mixing them like real drums. So let me show you this real quick. If you're not happy with the selection of drum kits that you have in uh, Studio One's impact you can go here to my website and if you go to the page here let's see we're at the home page let's go to more and let's go to where's the drum kits free tools free drum kits and if you hit this blue button you will get 16 custom made acoustic drum kits that i put together some of them have multiple levels of articulation others are just you know one shots so, you know, pick from the kits that you like. Now, if you've been a follower of Home Studio Trainer, you already have these. But I wanted to put this out there for the new people that are out there um, because I've gotten a lot more new viewers now who might not know about this. But it, like I said, if you've been an HST uh, subscriber, uh, then you probably already have these. If you don't, this is where to get them. You go to hst-homestudiotrainer.com and then you click on more and then you click on free drum kits. All right, there you go. So that's going to take care of this. There will be way more uh, in-depth mixing videos for drums coming, so stay tuned, and I will see you all in the next video.